You ready? Three, two, one. Oi, oi. <laughs> what one popcorn? How are we, chaps? You well? I feel oh, like big cheese. I feel like the band's back together because we had three weeks with me and you, Dicko, and we had a couple of weeks with me and you, Matty, and we've just... But now, look at this. The Three Stooges. The Three Gel, Stooges. Terrible trio. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Stockport County Live. Liam Dickinson and Matty Mainwaring. Boys, can I just say this once calmly? We are top of the league. I love it, mate. It's unreal, mate. It's we fantastic. are doing marvellous. It's just this is ridiculous. This is it's, it's annoying ridiculous. me though. It's annoying me how Boreham Wood keep winning <laughs> <laughs> and surrounding teams. It's annoying me. By the way, end of the season. What a couple of weeks that's going to be with the uh, Chesterfield away and Boreham Wood. That's that's that's, that's when it's going to. That's I think that's when the title is going to be won. Hundred yeah. percent. It's going to be just, very very interesting. Let let I'm just, I'm going to I'm going to dive straight in. We're speaking on Thursday night now, so because we've had this in the past where people go, "Oh, it's not the points tally was wrong or your goals." Got... So as as of this moment, County played twenty eight points, fifty eight top of the league. Chesterfield in second, twenty seven, so played one game less, fifty five points, so three, three points. Well, our, our goal difference is a lot better. Yeah, c- correct. Hundred um, percent. Our last run of games has been unreal. And then finally, Boreham Wood in third with, um, yeah, 24 played and 52. <laughs> played play 12. So they're, so they're six points behind us, aren't they, with four games in hand? Eight points behind us. Eight games. points behind us. <clears throat> Technically, you know, if we wanted to be proper, which we should, Halifax, you've got to say they're still in there. They, they've only played 26. So they're eight points behind us. Um, sorry, Dicko, you're right. Boreham Wood is six points behind us. Eight points Halifax, behind us, four games in hand. Correct. Halifax are eight points behind us, but Halifax have also got two in hand. So they, if they win those two, they're still up. Around. Yeah, we need we need them to drop points, and we need to keep winning. We need more and more to drop. Yeah. To be fair, we've just got to concentrate on our own game. I think. I think when we start when when in the past when I played for teams and you and you you worried about other teams slipping up, we need them to slip up, and and the, you know the lacks the con, con, the concentration lacks and. I just feel like we can only do it's it's out of our hands. All we can do is win. All we can do is win games and 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 play the way we're playing and keep the momentum going. And that's that's all you can do. Can I? Can I? I'm scared of saying things now because I don't want to be seen as a jinx or as a changing the mindset or whatever. The last few years, the the, the, the promotions that I can think of. You sort of like either put playoffs, the actual tournaments aside for a moment, but getting there and like you know being in and around that pack. You sort of and and when we won the National League North a couple of years ago, it's down to the wire. Do you know what I mean? You're chasing, yeah. it, you're chasing it. You you and there's usually someone just ahead of you that you've got to catch. And that I remember Jim always saying it. That gives you that momentum. You know. The, yeah. It's the carrot being dangled almost. You've got to go for it. You've got to try and grab it. This time, we're, we've got the lead. You know, if we're in the, if you think of a Formula One race, we're in front and everyone is the chasing pack. Does that change your mentality? Like you're almost on a tightrope. Do not, do not let it slip. I think it makes it very tough. Very, very tough. It's added pressure. I don't know what you think, Liam, but I think. You're playing games knowing that Boring would have got games in hand and that you can't yeah. afford to drop points. I looked the other night in the fixtures. You know, what we're two, three nil up away from home. We're looking fantastic. I'd love to be a county player right now. We're yeah. looking marvellous. But then you see that they've gone and won as well. And it's like it's quite disheartening. You're thinking, come on, just just slip up so we can gain a bit more of a lead and gain some more, you know, be a bit more comfortable. So we can party already. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is though, the thing is though. Boreham Wood are gonna are gonna lose points. We probably will lose points to like you know in the next run of games. Whether we we, we end up with a draw here or a draw there, um, but all we can do is concentrate on our own game because because Boreham Wood will slip up at some point. So if we're in our game and we're and we're we're producing the performances and the um, and the results that we have been doing, that's all we need to worry about. Because I assure you, 
the play the teams around us will slip up, and they'll be they'll be saying the same about us that we'll slip up. Boreham Wood, you've got the Chesterfields. They'll be saying, you know, county they, they can't win every game. They'll, you know, they'll, they'll slip up one game, and that's when we need to pounce. So we've got to have the same mentality. You know, every game is is a cup final from now on, and more importantly than ever, you know, that's that's a normal saying. That's everyone says that the next games, you know, the, the most important game, the position we're in now, every game is a cup final. You know, because we've never been closer to be getting back in that football league than we are now. If 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 you've got something to play for, it's a cliche for a reason, isn't it? Like you say, we, we, you know, we're on the on the on the on the brink, if you like, of going back into the football league now. If um, if let's be honest, there's a lot of clubs in any division who mid table's nice. You, you call it a settling season or whatever. If you're sort of eighth. Ninth, mid midway through the season, you can you coasting is the wrong word, but like you say, you have to have that mentality because if we don't treat Woking at the weekend, let's be honest, it's not with all due respect to Woking, it's not a glamour clash, is it? It's not it's not a Chesterfield or a Wrexham. Yeah. If but if we don't treat that like a cup final that we have to win, if we're one nil down in seven, in, you know, in the seventy fifth minute, and we're not putting the foot on the gas to chase that game, well. Brother, that could come back and bite you later. That, that could be the game that you know that ends ends our chances. Every, 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 you say it's a cliche, but every single game is is as important as the next. Every single game is a cup final for us now, and it's in our hands. And we, we can't worry about other people's results. And we know that other other teams around us are going to slip up. They are going to drop points. But we've just got to make it our duty now to to drop as little points as possible as we can, and 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 just get over that line. It's, we've the lads, have, the lads have have done self unbelievable credit, you know, to get where we are from where we were at the start of the season. Um, you know, the manager's been fantastic, and it just feels like the 08 season for me. It just feels like that buzz around the camp, that that the buzz in the stands, the excitement, the you know the the, the belief that we're going to go into games and win and score goals. More importantly, we're not just nicking one 0 wins. We're going away from home and scoring three goals, four goals. We, we're doing really well on the pitch and, we, and we're managing games now. We're starting to manage games, uh, whereas obviously with the, in the rust period, if we went in front and we're conceding goals and we wasn't managing games, now we are doing it. We're putting teams to bed. It's fantastic. I want you, you've you moved us on nicely. I was going to go down this route anyway. We'll speak about Rusk and Mark McGee in a moment because they've got a new job and I just want to briefly pick on that. But on, the, on what you were just saying there about what we're doing at the moment, I saw this on... on on social, I think it was on Facebook or something the other day, about um, the stats of Dave Challoner. I think it was, I think it was in the Stockport County group on Facebook, I think it was. And um, 15, just listen to these stats and tell me it's not championship form. Tell me it's not. Well, you tell me what you think. 15 games, 12 wins, two draws, one loss. That's 38 points. The goal stats, 42 scored. 10 conceded, 7 clean sheets. Now, I just... I had a look at the Dundee Twitter post earlier where uh, Simon Rusk and Mark McGee have gone. And um, there was I saw one comment in particular on there that irked me, where they said, oh, welcome to Dundee or something, you should never have taken the Stockport job. You were doomed in that job. And I thought, doomed? <laughs> The players that you brought in have delivered those results by and large. I know Dave has brought in a few since, but by and large, that squad of players, Dave Challoner has got those stats that you just heard of out of it, which is incredible. With all due respect to Simon Rusk and Mark McGee, what Dave Challoner has done here is ridiculous. They, they've just, that's just a cop out, really. It's to make them feel better. That's that's all that is. You know, you've, they've, they've come to the biggest. Probably the biggest team in the National League, the the, the biggest club in the National League, and it's, it's, it was too big of a job for them, to be honest. It, I, I personally think it was a wrong job for them. I said it to yourself, Chris, from the start. It was too much about um, a project, and there was no love there for the club. And for for a club like Stockport County, you need a Jim Gannon, you need a Chalner, you need someone with a connection to the club, um, you know, to make it work, to make the fans believe, to make the players believe. He wasn't the man for the job. He wasn't doomed from the start. He, he he didn't have, for me, 
what it takes to to produce at, at this level for, for for this club for this this kind of level. And I feel like they're going to say that to make him feel better. You know, he's got a bruised ego. You know, it's not worked out for him. It's not nice for him. He, he, everyone wanted it to, it to work out for him. I personally wanted it to work out for him because I, I love County. But it's not worked out for him. So I feel like that's a bit of a cop-out uh, in saying that because it's a fantastic club. And he knows it's a fantastic club. And he knows it's a, it's a, chance, gone, it's a chance squandered there, really, for me, for, if, if he's honest. What do you reckon to those stats, Matt? I know you're the you're the stat man, the stat Matt, if you like, of counter live. What what do you um, what do you see in what Dave Challoner has brought to the table? Uh, I think we're solid in all areas. I think he's showing. I think the most important thing is they say about any title winning side, they, they win the home games and they pick up probably seventy five percent of the you know seventy five percent of the away games as well and. We're doing that at the moment, but the most impressive thing out of all is we're barely conceded. I, I was I was a ball player as a player. I like the ball at my feet. I like creating and, and bridging gaps and between midfielders. And because I would argue that one one of my little weaknesses in my game might have been my defensive instincts. I appreciate def- defending and being solid a whole lot more than the next person because I didn't really have that in my game. So when a team's rock solid, it stands out to me like a sore thumb. And that's not to say I've not got an appreciation for somebody like Liam's job. You know, goal scorers, you can't you can't win a game without them. But defenders and and goalkeepers and organisation and and your you, you banks of four and your you two banks of four and your two up top. You know, the way we're organised at the minute, the stats prove a point. They prove that we're we're firing on all cylinders, and we're in that mix now with the, you know, we're, we're being talked about around the country. We're in that mix with the Forest Greens who are who are you know, there or thereabouts in, in the division above or, or League One and, and League Championship and Premier League and all these cities, your Fulhams, we're in that mix. So, we are being talked about. Um, if we were winning games 3-2, 2-1, 1-0, you'd, you'd say, you know, any any day now, it's, it's going to come crashing down this, but it's just not happening. We're, we're, we're coasting and dominating. It takes me back to when we first appointed Dave and Andy Welsh said, um, the thing he's going to do is he's going to make County hard to beat. And I sat here, I'll be honest, I like Andy. <clears throat> we, have a, we, we speak on the phone a lot away from County live stuff. And um, maybe not a lot, but a bit. And, and I remember thinking at the time, obviously he's got to make us hard to beat. <laughs> Every successful manager makes his team hard to beat. That's how you win games. But... Every time, every game I watch, every every you know result that comes in, whatever, that's all I can feel like. He's made us. We are hard to beat. We're yeah. impossible to score against, and we steamroller up front. That we are hard to beat. We've got quality inside. We've got League Two quality minimum. It's obvious. My dad said to me the way they're looking at the minute, because I'm so busy at the moment. He's watching more games than I am, and he says to me that. that They'd do very well against most sides in the division above, I think, from what I can see. They'd handle most sides, particularly at home in their way, you know, you get your different set of circumstances. But we are very hard to beat and it's a great time. I would love to be a county player right now. I'd love to because there must be a great feel about the club. You've got the backing, the facilities and a great set of lads who the majority are hitting the peak, peak of the powers. It does remind me of my spell there, but more so Liam's spell there as well. When the success came, I, I followed on from that, and I had another year, a great couple of years. But it, the, the 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 spell that Liam had was the main spell. It's the one that everybody remembers, and it reminds me of that all over again. Yeah, it's very strong at the minute, and it's very it's very exciting. It, for me, for me, one of the things that stands out, I I know obviously a lot of still still in contact with some players who who are in the football league, and I've got players who are in league league one. Telling me that they love to play for county, and you know, obviously, me and you've spoke about this off off air, Chris, and that just shows the caliber of uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That just shows the caliber of, of of players and that we've got at the club and and the standards that that the teams that players in, in in higher leagues are wanting to be a part of it. They wanting to be a part of this this journey now, and um, that I feel I feel like if if we go up, mate, I. I, I, I I'm scary to think about the names that we could we could attract to the club yeah. because I think because, we will attract. 
we will attract. Yeah, yeah, we will attract. I feel. I feel like we, we finally. You know, obviously, the last few years it's been hovering. It's been up. It's been downs, and the fans have had a, a good few years of, of the downs more than the ups. And it got to a point where we were hovering, and now it's just it's just that 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 incline now, and it's just getting better and better. It's that's it's just amazing to be a part of. You know, watching watching the games, getting to the games. We're seeing the results flashing up on my phone, it's 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 just it's just fantastic. And obviously, it's hard for me to to get to all the games. Got you know with the kids, family family man with the kids working. And I went to the uh, to the Bolton game. Um, we went to the Bolton game, and one of the fans shouted to me or something along the lines of, "But will you be at Torquay next week or Dover next week or something?" It was. I can't get to the games. I can't get to a lot of the games. But I liked I liked the banter of it. You know. He's only here for the big games. That's not the case. I watched the game on the TV, uh, on the on the you, app. You need you need a week off work to get there. You do, you do, mate. You do, and and it's just I just look. It's the banter, the, the the chirpiness around the club. Everyone's in high spirits, and it's just like you say. It's, it's kind of emulating that 08 season where everyone's on a high, and and everyone's loving being a county fan. Point them out to me, Dicko, and I'll go and have a word. <laughs> no, no. I think I, was, I think I was. I think I was drunk at the time. I can't remember what it looked like. Do you know what? No, that's a great point. That with the fans, because was it not last week or the week before Tuesday night game? Did we hit ten thousand? I was there for that one. Do you know what there. I mean? When, yeah. when when I was playing, Check we the field, sevens right? and eights again in League One against Crews and Walsalls and uh, Millwalls. 10,000 in the National League on a Tuesday it, night. It, and it was the record, was it? Was it the, the National League record? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's, Tuesday, freezing. Yeah. It's, it's winter still. Yeah. Freezing, mate. It was absolutely. The, the, the fans deserve this. They deserve it. They put up with enough bad times over the last five, six years or whatever. And, you know, we've had, we've had our success coming up to the National League again. They deserve it. They do. Yeah. I remember, I remember, and I, I apologise for swearing. Uh, I remember when Man City won the league a few years ago. Uh, again, apologies for the swear word. I'll, I'll be <laughs> when when they won the when they won the Premier League for the first time. I worked with a City fan, and she said to me, "We deserve this for what we've been through. We deserve this." And I, I sat. It sits with me even this day. It sits with me, and I think you deserve it well. for what? <laughs> like because you were poorly run for a bit, and now you've got uh, you've won the lot the lottery. You deserve what you earn. You know, you you don't. Do you know what I mean? If they if they if if they deserve that Premier League because they did a couple of years in League One, which we, we deserve the Championship. We're going to get the World Cup, mate. <laughs> 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 but you, you know what? You joke about Championship there. We're jumping the gun here now, but we could be entering a real good new era. Yeah, where that's not out of sight because for once we've got backing. We never really had massive backing, did we, Liam? When we no, no, we had we had great players, good, hungry, young, talented players. Jim was the genius who put all this together, but he was never backed by massive finances. That's why you went to Derby. The season, the season we went up, we were we were waiting some months for for wages. We weren't getting paid at some months. We, They've we, not we, got that worry now. No, a lot of the fans don't know about that. That we were going for a spell where. The PFA were having to sort us out, or or the chairman at the time was was basically saying, you know, I understand it, it's the the importance of it. I know you've got mortgages to pay. If if you need some, you know, a few hundred quid for for till till the money goes in next week, we're getting paid a week later at a time or two weeks later at a time. People had families, mortgages, cars to pay for, bills to pay, and we still had that team spirit uh, and the camaraderie, and just we just it just shows. Look what we can do like that when we when we're not getting paid when the, when when we've got that team spirit now back that with an unbelievable budget and and the backing of of, of a, you know a, a, of someone who believes in the club and believes in the projects what obviously I use the word project lightly because I don't like to use it but you know I know what you mean I know these you mean. people that come in are businessmen they are business but not a lot of them are businessmen. You know, they, they want to, to, to make money as well. They want to succeed. They want to succeed in life. But they also want to make money. Um, but we, we've got the backing now and, and, and we've got the team spirit and we've got the fans behind us. We always had the fans behind us. It's just a lot, a lot better now. 
And like you say, the the, the, the ten thousand fans, I was there. It, it was I was looking up at the chill end, and I couldn't see an empty seat. Could not see one empty seat. Let me just let me just move this on, just because I'm aware it's, it's quite late on a Thursday evening. I just want to just very quickly mention the names Simon Rusk and Mark McGee again, because we see that they've gone to, to to Dundee. We've seen the the unbelievable transformation on the pitch. You know, from the first half of the season to the second half, if you like, you know, pre Dave and post pre Dave and, and, and now. One thing that struck me as interesting, Mark McGee, obviously, for better or worse, he's an experienced manager. You know, he, he has been a manager, he has that experience. At Dundee, they've switched positions. So Simon is now the assistant. Do you think maybe they should have done that step? Then, because he's gone from a youth coach, and from from what we from what we hear, a very good one, you know, brought through a lot of players, you know, maybe the jump up to management was too big a jump. Is he doing the right thing now? Do you think? Going, do you know what? Let me let me sit in the pass <clears throat> in the passenger seat or in the. When you say that, Chris, about the switch, do you mean when the county should, whilst Simon was manager? Then right. step back. I don't think I don't think it ever like we saw with Ray. That wouldn't before, work. I don't, I don't think it changes if you flip the two. Yeah. But if they said from day one, yeah, Mark's the manager, but Simon's. I, you could even say like the plan is for in two years. I don't know. Simon could go on to be the manager. He's, we, we've got a lot of faith in him and a lot of potential. X, Y, and Z. But. He's gone straight into the manager's role. It's not working. He's now taken a back step. Listen, I wish him well. I hope he gets a. I hope he has a good managerial career, you know, in the future. But should he have maybe done that first? Should he have maybe sat in the assistant role first and then moved in behind a guy like Mark McGee, who he already knows and has already got that experience, even if it's not a world beating experience, it's still more than he had. I'll I'll answer. I've... Left me hanging um, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking about it. It's a good question. My answer. I'm, would, I'm a bit on the fence because would you would either of, if you were to, either you to a Sam and Rusk would you want it to step step back or would you want it to get straight in there as mind you? No, I'd want well, it to get straight in there. Yeah. However, it's a big one, and it? it's Stockport County on the rise, and we don't know what he's facing behind the scenes. We don't know his, what. You know, what? if if you had told me, oh, there's either the manager's position or the assistant manager's position, then yeah, I'm going to go give me the top job. But you know what I mean? If it's not like that, if I don't know, I don't know. I mean, well, I mean, everything's easy when you look back, isn't it? So yeah, I, of course, in hindsight, in hindsight, you know, you you'd say right, yeah, it's not worked, so it would have been better. But I'm not being funny. Any any. Anyone's taking the manager's job over a system manager. Yeah, you know, just that 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 passion for winning and succeeding that takes over. I, I you know, wanting to prove yourself. He's done a fantastic job for the twenty three. He's at Brighton. He's probably thinking the quality I've got in the twenty three is, and what I've done with them, I can easily take that to 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 to, to the national league. And he, he would have wanted to succeed. He would have wanted to prove himself. And he was probably just seeing Stockport County as a stepping stone. Uh, if, if we're all honest, this will be a stepping stone to get into, into the Football League. With, even oh, with that, Stockport. That or, that or a vehicle to the Football League because he was he had an amazing backing. Do you know what well, I mean? I mean, either a stepping stone to the Football League with, with either County or with a different club. Um, yeah. And it's not worked out. So it's, it's obviously it's easier for us to sit back and say, well, should have should, done, should have, would have, could have. Um, but I think for me personally, if it's his choice and, and, and the club wanted him on board, he's taken the manager's job all day. I'd take the manager's job all day. Yeah, Even if there's someone beside me that's more qualified for the role, I'd still want to prove myself. So I, I don't think he did the wrong thing in taking the job, but it's not worked out for him. It is a risk he took. It is a risk he took. And, and now it's showing probably that made the wrong choice. He 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 wasn't cut out for it straight away. Hence why he's he's the coach at Dundee now and not the manager. Hmm. Uh just finally, gents, um before we go, before before we wrap up tonight, 
It's a big game for County. They all are, as we've already said. They're all cup finals. There's also a big matter of the boxing on Saturday night. I know you're both impartial to a little bit of mm-hmm. me and you, Dico, at a catchway. Oosh. Oosh. It's all right, Matty. Enough. Calm down. Pick on some of your own size, yeah? Khan <laughs> <laughs> um, Brook. Brook Khan. Did you see the sweat drinking video? Oh, mate, that is minging. <laughs> minging, mate. Holy, yeah. that's very poorly. That, that's not even banter, though. It's like, that's like, do you know what that is? That reminds me of goalkeepers. Goalkeepers are weird like that. Goalkeepers <laughs> do weird things like that. Keepers Can you Give us an example. Um, just like James, James, remember James Spencer? Of course. So, it, Spencer's were just a weirdo as well. He just used to bring fishing tackle and stuff for the football, like maggots and stuff. <laughs> but he'd do things like if he was asleep on the coach, you couldn't sleep on the team coach because you just get terrorized. Anyone terrorized him, he would give them a rusty fish hook. <laughs> rusty fish hook. I don't know if it's, it's I'm able to say his name, but he'd put his finger. Round his, and then you get it. Uh, uh, uh. So no one went near him. Yeah. <laughs> no one went near him, him mate. Because you, you you don't want no one wants that. <laughs> he wasn't the cleanest of humans either. So you don't you don't want any, you don't want any, any anywhere near that. Goalkeepers are built from a different cloth. They're, weird, they're all weirdos. Every I've never goal met the lad. I've met him already. Get Honestly, goalkeepers are weirdos. So, but it, that's that's kind of, that's the kind of goalkeeper banter. Oh, we'll drink, we'll, we'll drink. Uh, you no, know, we like pissing on each other in showers and stuff. Just, just, just get your links set out you've had for Christmas and just shower yourself, and, and then off you go. You don't need to do things like that. Drink, <laughs> drinking sweat, minging, mate. Oh, um, we'll wear our mask in the gym because of COVID, but I'll drink your sweat banter. Not give me sick that physically sick. By the way, does anyone? What would you rather do? What would you rather do? Would you rather drink Jamie Spencer's sweat or have that hook thing? <sighs> Retire from football. <laughs> do, do any of you follow on Twitter? Is it Al Faran? Is it the, the impression guy? Have you, you got him on Twitter? Uh, I know he is. I don't think I'm following him. him. What's he said? Yeah, I, I know I he is. I don't That's know. him doing the Kel is Kel Brook impression. Is it a worthwhile watch? Unbelievable, I mean, mate. He sounds I mean, he sounds more like Kel Brook than Kel Brook does. <laughs> You're getting He's knocked out, Bobby. <laughs> Chocolate brownies. <laughs> oh yeah, honestly, mate. A bit delicate around whiskers. Fantastic. <laughs> he, he sounds he sounds just like him. He's, he's, you need to he, get 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 on Twitter after this and have a little look on anyone else who's watching here. You know, it's fantastic. He's, he's great. Matt, 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 Matt just night. from your boxing expertise, Say again, mate. Um, you're, the, you're, the, you're the man who knows the football pitch and the boxing ring. I won't, uh, I won't, yeah, but I wouldn't bet on that, to be honest, mate. It's uh, Make your case either side. Uh, I'd just, if I was a betting man, I'd leave it well alone. I, I can't. If you had to choose. <laughs> if I had to choose. Uh, yeah, if, if, if really, really, if the rest of his cat was on the line, if what? If if Alana's cat was on the line, who would you have to choose? I don't even I don't even think I mean this, but I'd probably say <laughs> probably say can on points. I don't think I, I can't. I don't think I mean it because I don't know because I can. Make... Do you think Khan can knock him out? Yes. Uh, I think I think. He's, there's more chance of Brooker in Khan. Yeah. Uh, he's, I think he... Yeah, they talk about this weight, though. I think Brook didn't really struggle at middleweight, to be honest. You know what I mean? So, they talk about Khan trying to drag Brook down and stuff, but Brook's a big lad, so maybe trying to drain him. So, yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, you, you, more... Matt, you will know, you will know, your punch resistance goes when you drain yeah. weight. So... That, that, that's, that's why there's a big issue around the weight. Of course it does, yeah. I'm going for a calm stock, late stoppage. Yeah, if I had to go anywhere, and I really don't want to, I'd, I'd, I'd say calm points. Dicko, Kelbrook knockout, just to, just to mix it up. So you're going for can, you're going for Chris, you're going for can stoppage. Yeah, Matt's going for can points. But I'm not really. Mate. I'm not. And I'm going for I'm going for Brook knockout. If your prediction comes in, the other two have to drink your sweat. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, so what we'll do, what we're going to do is, yeah, <laughs> whoever wins, whoever wins, yeah, the other two have to buy them an Andos. Yeah, okay. we'll have a little no. meet up. We'll have a little meet up and a, and a beer together, or uh, and the two, or, the two or, pay. You know what? I'm going to ring Gamay now. I've got his number. <laughs> I'm going to ring Gamay and tell him yeah. how, just how important it is. He knocks him out. <laughs> like, so yeah, so we'll we'll, we'll whoever, whoever wins gets dinner bought by the other two. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, that's okay. a fair one. So so I know what's going to happen. Kel Brook will win on points, the points, and we'll all lose. But, but I tell it's you what, off. I tell you what. How about how about we we move it up a notch? Yeah, Nando's. Um, for next Thursday's County Live. Well, Matt, Nando's Matt, for it. What for yeah. it? Matt, Matt will have to commit to that because he's got um. He's got a busy schedule, but if, yeah, if he's available, I'm available. available. He sounds delightful. But if he's Perry available, I'm, I'm available. Podcast podcast Thursdays at the Trafford Centre, fantastic. Is that what you're thinking, Trafford Centre? Yeah, it's in the middle, isn't it? It's in, it's in, I say it's in the middle, it's next to my house. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I honestly think, do you reckon you get a signal in Nando's? Um, Ermston. We'll, 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 we'll set cameras up. We'll set cameras up and we'll um, get mics up. Oh good. Or or, we, or or anywhere, mate. We can we can find somewhere. We can find a venue. We can get like a Toby Carvery or something. Anything. We'll do it at Dicko's house and get a delivery. What, what kids have got here, mate? They, they, we, we, we won't get a bite in, mate. It'd be gone. It'd be gone. Keep Dick all this for them. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's just I was saying to Matt before me, me, uh, my stepson's like almost sixteen now. He's been going to the gym and smashing the gym really. So when he when he takes his top off, I put mine back on and be embarrassed now. <laughs> hey, Francesca just. Francesca put him to bed when I was there. Yeah, I ask him. I ask him um, if I'm allowed to go out late. He's <laughs> bigger than me now, honestly. But yeah, but I reckon that's the plan. Stay tuned <laughs> for a, for. A, I reckon we go for a Nando's or we I reckon I we do murder Nando's. Me. We'll go, we'll go for Nando's. Player, which Set county the... player would make the best boxer? It's what? Which, which county, county player? player would make the best boxer? Current, current, and from your time. From my time. I've got. You, Matt, you are not allowed to say you because you were a boxer. I've got a clue. I don't know anything about. It. I'm, I'm going, going for myself. Michael Wolski. Absolute tank. Do you know what? Well, I, I reckon. Uh, I reckon John Rooney's can box a bit just because of the boxing family and the Rooney. Oh, he's left now. He's left. So current. Yeah. So current. so John, John, John Rooney. If, if we'd asked you that question two weeks ago, you could have picked him, but he's gone now. So it's only a guess, but uh, Hogan, Hogan for me. I'm going to go Sam Minahan. Can't say, I can't say. I yeah, don't but think ben he's probably minute. the biggest, isn't he? Ben, yeah, Ben. Can he box? I don't know. <laughs> Tony Dinning. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah he definitely could. <laughs> Uh, right, so yeah, let's 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 uh, let's let's pencil it in, shall we? Let's do it. I'm all for that's, it. If that's available next Thursday. We'll um we'll we'll do it in Nando's. I'll have to yeah, bribe. Yeah. I'll have to bribe the takeaway Nando's for her as well. Like, you tell us what night works. If not, Matt, we'll make it. Yeah, work. I will. Yeah, well, it's just a, a, a work four out of the five weekdays, and then go to your missus on a weekend. So. Yeah, it works. It's, it works. Eight, it works eight days a week. It puts us to shame. You definitely but it, it, it varies, so we'll keep 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 it on ice. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to though. Well, <laughs> let's, let's enjoy the game on Saturday. Enjoy the fight. Hopefully, Dicko, I'll I'll reach out to you about that. Yeah. Um, and uh, podcast Thursdays. That's a wrap. It's been emotional as per. Bye-bye. Cheers, gents. Peace out, boys. Enjoy your team, Matt.